When the space shuttle Endeavour blasted off on its second mission, it carried the first African-American woman into space. But Mae Jemison was, is more than an astronaut. She's also a phys- physician, a Peace Corps volunteer, a teacher, and the founder and president of two technology companies. Born in De- Decatur, Alabama on October 17, 1956, Mae Jemison moved to Chicago at the age of three and considered the, the city her hometown. The youngest of three children born to a maintenance worker and an elementary school teacher. She had a fascination with all things science from an early age. Jemison did well in high school and attended Stanford University on scholarships at the age of 16. There she attained her Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering and a Bachelor of Arts in African and American Studies. She went on to earn her doctorate in medicine from Cornell University in 1981. After working as a gym partner, Jemison served two and a half years as a volunteer in the Peace Corps, spending time in the African countries of Sierra Leone and Liberia. In addition to English, she speaks Russian, Japanese, and Swahili. Although employed as a general practitioner, Again, following her return to the United States, Jemison decided to purse a childhood dream after the historic flight of Sally Ride, the first American woman in space. Jemison applied to NASA's astronaut program, feeling that more opportunities had opened up. The explosion of the Challenger shuttle put a hold on applicants, but in 1987, she became one of the 15 candidates selected out of more than 2,000 people. After a year of training, she became the first female African-American astronaut. On September 12, 1992, Mae Jameson, Jemison became the first African-American woman in space when the space shuttle Endeavour carried her and six other astronauts on 126 orbits around the Earth. Jemison left NASA in March, in March 1993. She went on to teach at Dartmouth College. She also founded her own company, the the Jemison Group, which seeks to encourage a love of science in students and bring advanced technology to schools around the world. She is a strong advocate for science and established an international science camp for high school students. She continues to work today in her leadership role at the the 100-year Starship program. The project works to make human space travel beyond the solar system a reality within the next century, but in a way that includes and benefits as many people on Earth as possible.